Welcome to Quantum Break. This is an Xbox One exclusive game. And I think it's pretty interesting so far. I've played a few hours. I think you're gonna enjoy it. It does match the channel, it matches my style. So let's give this a try. If you enjoyed this first episode, don't forget to hit the like button and you'll see more coming out soon. The number one killer is time. It destroys us all. This is what you need to know. Time broke, a growing fracture leading to the end of time. We went after a device that could fix it. Things turned ugly. Paul Stream was there to stop us. He has superpowers. Jack. Him and me both. We failed. Jack. And of course, time travel was involved. Jack. Going too fast for you? Okay. What do you want to cover first? You tell me. Let's start at the beginning. When you first arrived at Riverport University. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. My brother, Will, was a scientist. He was also involved. Paul said it was world-changing. He was right. Whoa! Come on! Watch where you're going, man! Fuck off! Get out of the road! Asshole. Riverport University. Here we are. Hey, thanks for the ride. No problem. So far, I like the style of graphics this game has. You'd been away for six years. Paul and I had kept in touch, but... Well... Not so much. How did it make you feel? I was just happy to see Paul. Paul! Jack! I just got to the campus. Where are you? God, it's good to hear you. Uh, when you hit the courtyard, look right, you'll see this fancy modern physics building with the lights on. And I'll meet you inside there. I am so looking forward to this, man. You still haven't told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Why 4 a.m.? Why not wait till morning? Paul had always been a showman. 4 a.m. is a weird time. Why not 2 a.m.? Because 4 a.m. is too close to the morning. Hey, call it a night. There's nobody left to convince. What is going on over here in the middle of the night? You know the rules. Well, a lot of times I don't tell you what the rules are, but... Okay, wait. If you're with that fraternity, you've done enough damage. We're being shut down. <laughs> hey, I come in peace. I'm just meeting a friend nearby. At 4 a.m.? Yeah, tell me about it. Well, we're spreading awareness about Monarch Solutions, so if you want to know how badly they're giving us the shaft, then you can just ask me. This girl is funny, the way she talks, her slang. All right, what's going on here? Okay, how would you feel if you knew a corporate monopoly was taking a massive dump all over your personal history? <laughs> uh, that's quite an opener. Good, because that beautiful library over there is over a hundred years old. It's part of the city's heritage and Monarch Solutions plans to tear it down tomorrow. Do you want to know why? We've got a chart with all the details. That is pathetic. This poor girl's been standing here all night. Monarch's tearing down the library to build another research facility. And for what? I bet you're going to tell me. Hmm, to push their corporate agenda. I mean, look at those numbers. They're slowly taking over the city and everybody's completely blind to it. Uh, it doesn't look good. Hey, I got to meet my friend, but you keep fighting this, okay? All right. Enjoy your booty call. <laughs> Not exactly. See, he should have flipped the script and asked her for the booty call. It's not like You know she's bored of that job. You know she wants some fun tonight. Paul had always been hungry for success. Driven. 
He made it onto a lot of those top young professionals lists. And now he was coordinating some huge project at the university. It's a big deal for him. The design of this campus is pretty nice. I wonder if you could just explore. You made a long trip just to see a research project? Well, reading between the lines, Paul was under a lot of pressure. <laughs> he needed a friend. I wanted to help him any way I could. Son of a bitch. Jack Joyce. In the flesh. The esteemed Mr. Paul Serene. I'm shaking money bags. Shut up and bring it in. <laughs> Welcome home. Six years. And I was starting to think you'd never come back. Yeah, me too. <laughs> come on. This way. We're going upstairs to the project lab. How was the flight? First class. Thank you for that. It's a step up from our van trip to Utah. I missed that van. I'm guessing Will's not meeting us. He doesn't know we're here. I knew Paul had asked my brother Will to consult on his project. Will was all the family I had, but he was difficult. There's more to this than you're letting on. Is it about my brother? I still worry about him, huh? If Will did something wrong, then... Jack, man. Look, I've been tight-lifted about this for a reason. This project we've been working on is going to change the entire world. Uh, why do I smell one of your long-winded presentations on the horizon? I would never. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> a perfectly placed presentation to illustrate the project. Now, who put that there? <laughs> oh, shocking. Okay. Enough joking. The lab's this way, Jack. Come on. Come on. Let's just get to the big show. <laughs> you haven't changed at all. Now I feel like all the characters in this game are real actors because I recognize that guy. I don't know his name, but I've seen so many shows, movies that he's been in, and he's always done a good job. A lot of video games are doing that now. It's becoming the norm that the character models are the models of the actual actors. And that, that's just pretty nice. Welcome to Project Promenade. And I declined that slideshow, so what exactly is this? Oh, shit. You guys must have some budget. What is all this? The future, Jack. You are looking at the biggest discovery of our time. It's impressive, but Will's the scientist. What do you need me for? There's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m., Jack. I need someone I can trust. I need you to help me convince Will. Yeah, I had a hunch. When your brother found out the scope of what we were building here, he... <laughs> Well, you know Will. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted. Scared off the investors, ranting about miscalculations, dangers, all with no evidence. It works, but they're gonna cut our funding if I don't prove it. I see the concept of personal space is still foreign to you. Hey, somebody's gotta keep tabs on you. For those that like to read everything, that's what I'm going to do. If I open up a file, I'm going to go through it quickly. And all you got to do is just pause and then you can read all that stuff. Jack, you know asking for our help is not easy for me. I am in deep trouble. You see, the tests I have to run here are not strictly speaking legal. You're the only one I can trust to help me with this. Whatever Will did, I want to make it right. I love my older brother, but he didn't make it easy. It's already essentially set up. Anyone can do it, but you're the one I want to do this with. Jack, thank you. I knew I could count on you. I guess you could say this guy wants me to be the guinea pig. He wants to run this experiment on me, whatever it is, because he's too terrified of working it on him. And if you want to check out all this stuff, all you got to do is pause. We're going through it quickly. This is just me overachieving. You don't even have to read all this, but if you do, sometimes they give you some insight into other things. This guy's got patience. He's not too mad that I'm strolling. He's waiting. I need you to push the lever over there, labeled Chronon Conduit. That'll activate the core. 
I'm going to run diagnostics and make sure it remains stable. I don't know. That thing looks dangerous. This might be a murder. Activating the core. That's just the Cronon conduit initiating. Are you sure it's supposed to do that? Stable. What was that? The core replicates the effects of a rotating micro black hole, so activating it can be a bit intense. A black hole? What exactly are we testing here? You're about to find out. This way, we've got to raise the corridor. Just like old times, eh? Slightly illegal, moderately reckless. I'd raised some hell with Paul in the past. I could tell this was different. Still, I didn't understand how massive and far-reaching the consequences for this would be. How could I? I knew Paul. He played it cool, but I could tell he was nervous. It's happening. We're really doing this, Jack. It's gonna be amazing. Well, I guess it is amazing to create a black hole on planet Earth. Here, take this. You need this key to activate the corridor. Is that the key to success? Why, why can't I get that key to success? Let's try this again. Oh, there we go. I have the key. We need to turn the keys at the same time to activate. Security precautions. Ready? It's like we're launching a nuke. Wait, we're not launching a nuke, right? One way to find out. Three, two, one. Damn, Paul. What is this? The corridor. The passenger enters one end, travels around the loop, exits the other, and arrives at the predetermined time in the physical location where the machine is situated in that time. Passenger? Wait, wait, wait. This is a corridor for... You're actually going inside that thing? In the machine, through time. I'm going to be the first, Jack. And you're my witness. This is crazy, Paul. I and mean, this can't be safe. What happens when- Our team has already proved it works in the trial phase. It is ready. We've passed every test, every inspection. We're about to make history, Jack. All you have to do is hit that switch. I'm glad that he's the guinea pig and not me. Two minutes to the past. Remember this moment. Holy moly. Paul, <laughs> what? How? It's <laughs> I wish I could do that. It's fine. You know how many videos I could release a day if I had two of me? It's okay. Stay calm, Jack. Stay calm. There's... There's two of you, you just fucking multiplied. Look at that multiplication cheese! This is exactly what was supposed to happen. That's... he's... he's me, a future version of me from two minutes in the future. <laughs> Your evil future self. We did it! Fucking incredible. I mean, just... Imagine the implications. We could warn people about disasters before they disasters happen. Before they happen. Cure, cure diseases, diseases before, before they, they spread. spread. I just had this conversation. <laughs> Still sounds good second time. Jesus Christ. Now go into the machine. You need to complete the cycle. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Wait, Paul. What are you doing? It's all a big loop, Jack. I need to enter the machine and travel back to the moment I exited the machine in order to, well, be here. And what if you don't? There is no what if. I'm here, it's already happened. You saw it, Jack. We did it. Oh, that's impossible. That's that's literally impossible. I mean, I can't even... There's no time to stop now. We need to test the other direction. Set the machine to five minutes to the future. If I had this technology, this, this whole series would be done today. I would be cheesing. 
What are you doing? Oh, no. Jack. Will? You have to help me with this. We have to shut this thing down now. No, 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 no. Stop him! Shut up! Hold, hold on. the core! Hold on! We can't shut it down. Paul's still in there. Will. Shut up! Look shut at me. up! Look at me! Put the gun down and we can talk, okay? No, there's no time. You're not <clears throat> thinking straight. Put the gun down! Jesus Christ, Will. Time is going to end. Jack, you have to trust me. For what? Sure, Will's okay. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Why did he have to go and ruin this technology? I could hear Will's words in my head. Time is going to end. What the hell? His body is frozen. This is crazy. Will. Will. Jack. Hey, Will. Zero state. What have we done? She warned me. And I knew she was right. All this time. All been avoided. We're too late. This is what a glitch in real life would look like. This is crazy. Come on. Mm, jammed. This wasn't supposed to happen. The figure's all. Stutter. Collapsed. Well, well, well. The Fed showed up. A SWAT team. How illegal is this? Come on! You can escape through the hatch I came in through. I didn't want to leave Paul. But there was no way to help him. I didn't know where he'd end up. Jack. Hurry! <clears throat> Even though you came this way, they just saw us, so this isn't gonna work. He's here! Fire! What the hell? Hurry! This way! You've got to run faster than this. They got guns. We don't have any guns. You got to take, you got to turn on the jets. No hesitation. Jack, your hands. Got to keep moving. No! just did the matrix Jack you just what just go if you're ready for the next episode hit that like button make it splash on that like button and that oh I rocked him I rocked him 
Oh, baby, I put him to sleep in a yoga mood. He's in a yoga pose when he fell asleep. That's a murder. Look at this yoga pose. Go get into that yoga. Yoga.